are and musty smelling of pig urine that was a small convenient dollar store on the edge of an open plain inside of that dollar store were objects of pure pure convenience but most of which were cursed one day a small pilgrim walked in to said dollar store. He opened his mouth and he said, Please bring to me honey and bread. For he was starving himself to death. They brought him the bread and the honey. He said, How much is this bread and how much is this honey? I was like, Two dollars. at him and said, Wait, what was that? I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you. It's like two dollars, maybe, oh. maybe like two fourteen. Wow, that's a deal. This isn't a commercial or anything, but buy buy the honey and bread. It's only two dollars. <laughs> two dollars only, one time offer. He took out gold. This is best cover. It giving them two slabs of gold. We don't accept coins. He gave him gold <laughs> and ran away. He took the bread and honey and he ran. <laughs> As he left the building with the bread and the honey, he opened the honey jar and he took a small amount of it and put it onto a piece of bread. Once he ate, he realized the bread and honey stayed the same. It had not gone away, it had not disappeared, and it had not changed. No honey had left the jar. And no bread had left the bread. <laughs> it was still the same. Leaving on his travels again toward the mines. As pilgrims always do. He entered the mines and showed his friends of the miraculous honey and bread. They ate and ate for days on end with no problems. Till Greg... The pilgrim's best friend tried to steal some of the honey and some of the bread, though he already knew that he could have all that he wanted if he asked. He left the mines with the bread and the honey all alone. It's not like he had any children that he needed to feed or anything. No, he was just selfish. He poured the honey and the bread, but something strange happened. Instead of there being bread there was only bread of sour dough and the honey was not honey it was pickled onions oh god what is he supposed to do with pickled onions and sour dough he returned the bread and honey and it rejuvenated back to its original state when the pilgrim woke up he took of the honey and of the bread, scarfing it down, even though he wasn't even hungry. His stomach started to expand and expand. So Bill came back again. He was like, oh, Brad, I'm going to steal that honey again this time. He's not even paying attention, so it shouldn't turn into weird, gross stuff. Oh, <laughs> But he saw the pilgrim. And he did not want to share the same fate. He said, Bill, he said, Pilgrim, stop. You're going to die. He oh. said. <laughs> but he thought, God help me. It is too delicious. I can't stop now. And the saddest part of this story was, it turned out he had a stale baguette in his bag he could have eaten. Instead of going to that dollar store. Good night, children. Sleep well. It's only been the first story. Grandpa? Yes. What? Why? Why did they? Why? Why did they? Why? Why didn't they share with the starving people? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the bread as bought took it. Grandpa, why in the world 
did he not just stop eating the bread and honey? Good question, child. And I have a very good answer for that. And it's because it was good. But it wasn't even great. It was good. But if he was poor, why did he have pure gold coins in his sack? Shut up, child. <laughs> you are accusing this story of lies. And you, child, in the back. Um, why did the bell try to steal the honey and bread if he could have all he wanted? Get out. <laughs> Child, the bread and honey. Mm. Bread. I'm gonna go and leave this young man to tell the next story. <laughs>